In this video, we're going to go through how to change channels uh, on the fire ground radios. So depending on where you are, there is a few different types of handheld fire ground radios, but by far the most common and the current issued radio is these little icons. So as you'd expect, you've got the dial on the top, which turns the radio on and off. And also has the volume. They twist all the way up. So one of the tricks for beginners is trying to change channels. If you press these buttons, you'll see that nothing happens and you've got lock on. And if you twist the dial at the top, that sort of makes sense for changing the channels. It just beeps at you and says it's empty. So nothing happens. So the way they're programmed, they're all programmed for your channels on setting one. And you press this little red button here to take the lock off. And then your channels are selected by P0 and P3. So depending on where you are and what your district is, there is some different programming potentially. and you'll have different set channels uh, that your district's decided. So in Castle Ray Zone, we run Fire Ground 10 for our standard Fire Ground channel, and Fire Ground 1 is a standard channel that any aviation uh, will use to try and contact ground crews. So to use it, you can, if it's connected, use a handpiece. There's no other controls on it. Press and hold for press to talk. And if there is a handset connected, you can still use the main radio itself to uh, transmit and hear from. And that's it. So moving on to the vehicle mounted fire ground radios, we run these Tate hidden headset units. So all the controls are on the handset. They look like this. So they're a little bit different in that we can actually select the zones in these. So if you look through here, we've got a standard New South Wales RFS. But if we go in interstate for deployment or something, we can actually scroll through and select different uh, organisations. Uh, of probably primary interest to us is we can actually select the National Parks and Wildlife Service and speak to them on their fire ground channels. So for local communications, that can be helpful. So we're gonna hit select for rural fire service. And the scenes themselves, once you're in the correct zone, you just scroll through using these arrow buttons. So going back to fire ground 10, it's our standing in Castle Ray. Volume is a plus and minus. Turn the radio on and off using the top button there. You lock it using the orange button and you stand press to talk. That's it, pretty simple.